Hi, welcome back to my workshop. Today we are working on a bit different project because I have a problem, as you can see. I can only use this iron with big tips, but I hope that will change today. As you know, I am primarily electrotechnical engineer and I do a lot of PCB design, soldering and programming. I bought this soldering station from an auction some time ago and if you are familiar with JBC, you know that it is probably the best soldering equipment manufacturer. They have a whole range of different soldering stations, but the most recognized are T210, T245 and T470. The last two are very similar and also have the same connection diagram. The T210 is a bit different, smaller and is out of the scope of this video. The T before number means tool or handpiece and C stands for cartridge. The handpiece for 245 and 470 are the same and can be interchanged. The handpiece is just a cable with connection to the cartridge and does not contain any electronics. The main difference between cartridges is the amount of power delivered and the different tip styles. The 470 version can deliver up to 250 watts of power and is for heavy duty jobs. The finger to tip distance is about 70 mm. The 245 version is available to a very pointy tip and is suitable for fine SMD soldering as well as medium heat demanding jobs. The finger to tip distance is about 50 mm with 245 one. Ok, enough information. The problem I'm having is that the station I have only works with 470 cartridges. Although that is very useful on occasions, I primarily need fine tips for SMD work which are not available for 470 version. The station is HD2B, heavy duty station acquired from industrial environment. After a lot of research I found on a German forum, of course, a guide to convert my station to work with 245 cartridges. The main problem is that when 245 cartridge is inserted, the station senses too big of a current and reports error of short circuit. The look inside the station reveals the transformer with 2 times 24 volt output. It is then connected to the back board where the two outputs are connected in series to give 48 volt output to the cartridge controlled by MOSFETs. There are 48 volts necessary for the 470 cartridge in order to output 250 watts, but for the 245 cartridge that draws too much current. If we want to use the 245 cartridges, we need to cut the transformer wires and connect them in parallel for lower voltage. You can see the diagram here. On the back panel there are these two transformer outputs connected in series, but the central 24 volt line is also needed. If we want to convert it to 245 cartridges, we need to cut this wire and use a switch to switch between parallel or series connection in the way that is shown here to toggle between 470 or 245 cartridges. The upper part of the switch is for 245 cartridge and the lower part two central wires are shorted for 470 cartridge.
you can also see the wiring between different parts of the station. The main station connects to the stand with the cable. Beside powering the handpiece and cartridge, the stand also provides the information when the handpiece is in the stand, so the station goes into hibernation mode. These two metal parts senses the contact with the metal part of the handpiece or the cartridge. The stand I got was from JBC Tweezers, so it had dual connections for the station and the handpiece, but I only used one half. I also had to make new metal piece to rest the handpiece, because original was the one for the tweezers. I also had to modify my station, because the connector between the station and the stand was not available for a few months, as it is now the case with most of the electronic components. I decided to solder a cable and use a gland to secure it.
That's it for this video. I linked all the connectors from the handpiece as well as the one for the station in the video description. I would really appreciate the support by liking, subscribing and sharing the video. See you later. Bye.